Moving on to chapter 7, um, it's time for us to tackle the normal distribution. So here I have some problems in my chapter 7 notes available online. And it wants us to find the area under the standard normal curve to the left of z equals negative 0.38. Honestly, I didn't have to tell you it was the standard normal curve because once you see that it's a z value, it must be standard because um, that's what those are called, standard scores, but whatever. Okay, so I can't really draw the picture for you here. I can draw it on the calculator. Um, you'll see it in a minute. All right, so I want to find the area under the standard normal curve to the left of this value. Okay, remember this about normal CDF. Um, normal CDF is always going to go left, comma, right. Now I know what you're thinking. Where is normal CDF? Where have I seen that before? Well, you saw it in chapter 6 only briefly because second distribution, right, you hit that VARES key. See it right there? It's at the top of the distribution menu. Now you're never going to use PDF um, in any introductory class that I know of. You're always going to use CDF. So you go down here and you pick normal CDF. Enter. Now you have to tell it left to right. So if you think about the normal curve, what's on the far left? The far left on a normal curve, oops, let me swing up to see one, over here is negative infinity, right? It goes on forever and ever and ever. That's one of the properties, right? So your calculator doesn't have negative infinity, but what you could do is type like a really small number. Now the way I do it is scientific notation. I say negative one double E, see it above the comma? Second double E, now it only comes up as one E, that's because it doesn't want you to get it confused with that guy right there, see him in green? That's the alphabet letter E, which is not the same thing at all. So they're trying to get you to use this guy right here, double E, it stands for scientific notation, times 10 to the, and then I just pick 99, right? That's pretty much the smallest number that your calculator can handle. What it is, is it's negative one, zero, 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 right? Followed by 99 zeros. Right. Gajillion, zillion, gajillion, right? It's close to a Google, because a Google is, ne is negative one followed by a hundred zeros, but not quite. But either way, it's really darn small, okay? So that's negative infinity as far as we're concerned. Comma, negative 0.38. Close parentheses, enter. Oops, it didn't like me. What did I do? Oh, wait. It didn't like this right here. I must have a space in there. Oh, I have two commas. Look at that. It takes me a second. See that? Comma, comma. That's not good. <laughs> Sounds like, what is it? Boy George, comma, comma, chameleon. All right, so negative 1E99, only one comma. Thank you very much. Comma, negative 0.38. Enter. There we go. Okay, so that would be the area under the curve between negative infinity, so all the way over here, up to negative 0.38, right there. All right, cool. Let's do another one real quick. And the next one says it wants the area to the right. Okay, so you're going to start at 1.25 and go to the right. So that would be normal distribution, so second distribution, pick number two, we'll always pick CDF for normal. 1.25, comma, only one comma, thank you. Now this time I want forever to the right, right? Positive infinity, because it says go to the right of 1.25. Well, that would be going for forever. So I'm going to do 1, second, double E, 99. Now I know it doesn't come up as double E, but that's what it really is. You want that guy right there. They're giving double E because they don't want you to confuse it with the alphabet E or the lowercase E, which is Euler's number, which is a whole other ball of wax. Close parentheses and press enter. There you go. Last one. What about um, if they want it to the left of this or to the right of this? Well, that's talking about two separate tails. So what you can do is 1 minus second distribution normal CDF over the numbers 2.27 and 1.42. Negative 2.27 comma 1.42 close parentheses enter. So what you're doing is saying, here's the center, the middle part, take it away from one and you'll have the two tails, because that's what it wanted. It wanted the outside tails. You can tell because it uses the word or, right? Left of this number, right of this number. All right, I'll see you here for some more problems next time.